Good morning, I'm Kathleen at Seattle Humane and this handsome boy with me today is Benny. Benny is an American Bulldog and he's two years old. Look at that handsome face. Oh, look at that handsome face. Benny is only, only two years old, like I said, but he's a big guy. He's very, very strong. You might notice that I have two leashes here. I'm strong myself, but I don't weigh a lot. So I'm being smart about it. I've tethered him to the bench just in case if he sees something that strikes his interest more than I do, he's gonna bolt. And I don't wanna go flying after him in, in his wake. So I'm just being smart about it. Having said all that, an adopter is going to need to be dog savvy, be somebody strong who can handle him. But other than that, you know, he's, he's gonna be, a, he's a really awesome puppy. He prefers to be in a home where he's not near any traffic, where he can see other cars. So he'll need a tall fence if he's outdoors or a home that's not near roads and highways things to keep in mind. He, w he came to us from another shelter and he was transferred to us because that shelter was near a highway and he just wasn't doing well in the shelter environment there. Some things that you can do before you head out on your walk are some training cues. Right now we're learning shake. He doesn't quite know it. But maybe if you are his lucky adopter, you can help him master shake. Oh, he almost got it. He moved his paw, so that was good. This is mentally stimulating for him. It's going to tire him out a little bit before you actually head out for your walk. Then once you do head out for your walk, things to keep in mind when you first, you're getting to know him and he's getting to know you, is go on very short walks. Stop along the way, do some training cues, maybe practice what you would do if he saw one of his triggers, if a car drove by or a truck drove by. Redirect with some treats. You can do the charging the clicker. Oh, that caught his attention right away. Yeah, good boy. Do the short walks. Also, choose your paths wisely. Where are you gonna take him for a walk when you first adopt him? Choose a route that's not traveled very much by other people, definitely not traveled by other dogs, a quiet street where you're not gonna run into a lot of traffic. So Benny is an American Bulldog, which means his breed was actually bred to hunt things. But we can work with him on that. What he brings to the table is sign him up for some classes called barn hunting, where they actually set up a safe environment, hide the rat or the bird, whatever it is they're working on, and give him that opportunity to use what he was bred to do, actually hunt those animals but it's in a very safe and controlled environment. So it's working with what Benny brings, what he is in a safe environment, instead of maybe when you're out on a walk. But like I said, it's that very controlled environment, which is gonna be key. It's also something that's gonna help him, you know, when you go on your walks, if he's getting what he needs, and then when he goes on your walk. Right here, Benny, Benny, Benny. Benny, right here. It's a robin. <laughs> there you go. All right. So what he saw, speaking of what he was bred to do, he saw he sees a robin down there. Um, luckily, I was low to the ground. I made myself solid. Was able to hold on to him. I had the fence post to help me out, which is something you can also take in mind. If you see a tree, you see a fence post, wrap yourself around it. That's going to help give you some grounding against his strength. Come on down to Seattle Humane this morning at 11 o'clock when we open and meet Benny and some of our other animals. There you go.